Welcome to QAvalidation.com. So in this video, we will see how to customize your TestNG listeners. Okay. So TestNG provides se several types of listeners. So listeners are basically the interfaces and those interfaces have few methods that we can customize depending on our need. And that will help us to uh, what do you call uh, to uh, to give the output the test engine result output in a guided manner or the way we, which we want okay so as you can see the, the official website of test ng have this many types of listeners are there starting from your annotation transformer to high test listeners okay and each of these uh, listeners have their own java docs are there so you can get the uh, what you call the methods that are available for each uh, interface okay so here the i means that is interface and this is basically an interface okay so from all of these uh, what you call interfaces we will be looking today i test listener okay so i test listener is basically a listener that will help us to customize the test results so at the rate test so if you know about test ng then you might be knowing about at the rate test so we can uh, what do you call uh, print the output in a guided manner that we will see okay so before moving to that let me show you the i test listener java doc how it should be so here you can see it has again so each interface have their own methods as i told so here uh, your i test listener provides this many unimplemented methods that we are going to implement it by creating a class i will show you in detail okay so here you can see um, so let me go through quickly what it is so on test so this is a method which will accept a context and this context you can use it to print your output okay so what it says invoked after the test class instantiated and before any configuration method is called it means that uh, so if you have any con uh, configuration let's say your uh, uh, before method after method or before test after test whatever it is there so the first thing it will execute if you have mentioned anything under on start then that will execute first then your all other what you call configurations will be executed the same way the opposite manner you are on finish it means that after everything is done up after your test method and all your configurations are done then the next thing on finish will be executed okay so again another one is the on test start so this is basically your at the rate test so when the control goes to your at the rate test method then this on test method will be executed and it will give you a parameter that is result by using that parameter that result you can customize your output okay the same way your on test success so on test start will execute after uh, i mean at the beginning of uh, every at the rate test now there are three scenarios it might come one is your success if uh, it is passed then on test success will be executed if it is if your uh, at the rate test is skipped then this will be executed whatever you have written under this that will be executed and the another one is on test failure okay and this is one special case on test failed with the success percentage so this is basically so if you are at the rate test have so many steps but so depending on uh, where exactly your test is failing so depending on that this success percentage will be executed there okay so we'll see one by one now let me go to eclipse so here i will create a new maven project that will be easy sometimes to handle because um, you need not to worry about your dependencies okay so let me click on next and put the default template okay so click on next and here you can just say com test ng okay and here you can say project name is a test ng sample okay fine okay so now let me finish it okay so it will give me a maven template with a pom.xml let me open it with a text editor and i will update a bit so here actually basically you have j unit okay j unit dependency but i can change it to so i will just de delete it and here i can 
search for test ng dependencies okay so here from the maven repository get the latest so this one and put that dependency here as soon as you save it it will download all the dependencies that is needed okay so as you can see here it gives me two file uh, two folders one is your com dot test ng dot test ng sample i don't need this one so let me delete it okay and here one more is that this is basically a j unit file so i don't need this one as well so delete it fine so our pom.xml is ready now what i can do under this i'll create a file or a class that is uh, let's say a normal test ng class okay so test ng uh, let's say some name i'm giving there okay now here i will write few test cases so as we have seen there there could be three scenarios right either your test case can uh, pass can fail or else it can skip it so depending on those three scenarios i will create three different test okay so at the rate test and here i will create a method quickly so let's give it as um, pass test method okay and here i will give some output here so i will say inside pass test method okay so and i will give a description as well here so what you can do there is a attribute called a description and here you can say just to see how the output is coming okay so you can say passing scenario okay and here let me import the fine now this is my pass scenario now let me make a fail scenario so here i will say failing scenario fine and here i will say fail test method okay and here what i will say int a equal to something i need to fail this scenario fine so here anyway it won't execute this line so i will remove the system dot out dot print ln because anyway i don't it will not print there okay so i will have another scenario that is skip scenario okay so what i will say here skipping scenario okay and here i will say skip test method and here what i will do i will use this one to skip this test method basically and here i will write something so let's say that intentionally skipping okay something so that it this method can uh, this uh, what you call message can print on the output that we will see fine so no errors so far okay so we uh, now all the three scenarios we have made now the second thing is that we need to create a test ng xml right to do what you call to run your test ng class you need a test ng xml so what i will do right click on this project new file so test ng dot xml fine so let me do one thing i'll copy it from my previous project so that it will be easy and quick and here what i will do let it be suit one and here i will say test something okay and here what i will do i will give this oops sorry so here i will copy this one and the file or the java file name is test ng normal okay this is the path so that if i run the test ng xml this will execute so what i can do for now let me try to show you how exactly if i run it how exactly it will print onto the output okay so i'll right click on the test ng xml and run as a test ng suite so here you can see inside pass test method so this is basically my past scenario okay from there if you see there are three methods run in that one is failed and one is skipped okay now if you go to this result here for the fail test method you will get the exception that is arithmetic ex exception because intentionally we have uh, failed that 
and if you go to the past scenario it is anyway past for the skip scenario again oops it went so let me go to project uh, windows show view console okay so here you can see go to the results and here you can see intentionally skipping that is because we have skipped that one okay now if you see this uh, output it is kind of uh, not that much of readability is there so to uh, what you call to customize this output we will use the test engine listener okay so what we will do so as we have seen all those interfaces right so test listener now we will try to create a class and which will implement that interface because see interfaces given by the test engine so somewhere we have to implement that and we have to customize as per our need okay so what i can do under this only i'll create a new class and some name i will give so let's say test engine listener okay and i'll create this class and here what i will do implements that particular i test listener okay now it is under your organized test ng fine so here what it is throwing me error that you have a few unimplemented methods from where that is coming coming from the interface now let me click on this okay you can see all those methods that we have seen in the java doc that is everything is auto populated here so first thing we will see the on start okay so on start is basically this one what i was talking that time whenever it will go to the test method i mean it's not test method it's the test element so this is basically a test which will hold number of test cases in terms of your class so at the beginning of this what do you call this particular what do you call content will be executed sorry where is that on start okay so what i can do here so let me go and customize it okay now it is empty right so something we need to put it inside this now what i can say here so i will say let me put a string here okay and this is which method on start method right so here something i will put it and here i will take this context okay dot get name so if i do that then i will get this particular name whatever i have mentioned under this fine we will see into the output don't worry about that and here i'll just give something okay fine now the same thing now on the on finish and here it should be on finish now let's go to the on test start this is beginning of every test beginning right so what i will do first i'll make a blank so that it will create a space onto the i mean a blank line i'll show you what exactly i'm doing so here what i will do so here we are getting the result right so result dot get method is there so this will give me the at the rate test method name dot get method name okay fine so this is basically my method name what i got so here what i can say started so this is beginning right as i told and here by using this one only i can get the description as well that i have written into the by using the description attribute right so get method i think description yes no 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 let's see what is that get description method okay and here i need not to give anything fine okay done now this is one more method is done now if it is success if it is success what i want to do if it is success i will say that okay this method is passed okay so here what i can do again i will copy this same thing only here this one to here and i will say passed okay so if a particular test is passed then it will show as a passed scenario fine now we have uh, one more is that that is test method failed so if it is failed then we need to somewhere give it as a failed one okay so what i will do i will customize this one a bit so what i will say this one is failed because of okay space and here you can give like this result we are getting that parameter right dot get throwable okay 
you can get it and the same thing we will get for skipped also so here what i can do here skipped because of i can give the same throwable only no problem okay and uh, for this scenario currently i don't have anything because success percentage means we have to see how many i mean with a condition we have to put that so for now let's see only these three scenarios only okay so now we have implemented that interface okay everything is set now if i execute this test in xml it will not execute why because if you see here we didn't mention anywhere about the, this listener okay so that we have to mention somewhere here so if you see the let me open this web and here if you go see it gives a details how you can declare your listeners so everything is there just i am customizing utilizing this resource and customizing my own way so here what you can do go to your test ng xml and here i have only one listener right currently in my project so what i will do i'll give the exact path of this okay this is my package fine and now here and i have to give the listener name my listener name is test ng listener right that is the java file that what i have fine so we have made all this uh, customization so whenever i will execute at the beginning of this uh, test ng xml so i will just run it so that you can see that and then i will explain you with respect to the output so what i will do i will go to a test ng xml right click run as test ng suite okay see before you would have seen it was only coming how many passed how many skipped how many failed but here if you see it is a customized manner like this one on test i told you this is nothing but your the name okay let me open this one and with that to the console so that you can see both side by side fine so this is basically your this method name test method name on start okay the same thing you will get one more at the on finish because i have only one test element so that's why i am getting on start on on finish once only and fail test method fail test method is if you see this is my method name started i have given now let's go to the listener and again go to your console fine now here you can see so fail fail test method started this is basically coming from your on test failure so here you can see failed because of failed because of resolve dot throwable we have put that one right and this is my description from where it is coming this is coming from on test start okay so here you can see the same thing for past scenario and this is my description this is my the output under that so it executed that particular method and it is giving me the output as this test case is passed the same thing skipped test case description skipped because of this reason and this is my the message that i have thrown from that exception okay by using the throw new skip exception okay and this is my suite name from where it is coming from the test in xml and here you can see very clearly it says result is three failure is one skip is one so there is actually three test cases run so this is basically a customizer so as i told at the beginning of this video that we can guide the output the way which we like so this is see more readability now i have only te three test methods like let's say if you have uh, like a uh, vast number of test cases then by using this output and see you need not to do anything i mean this test engine listener is only one time setup only and after that you can create as many as test classes now i have put all this test method into one uh, what do you call one class only you can have three different te test uh, what do you call classes with uh, only one test in each class and you can see the output as well okay so that's all what i have with the test engine listener and even you can customize uh, what you call loggings so if see whatever we have seen now it is printing into console you can even customize what you call this particular test engine listener by implementing and you can put this content into a log file also i will see in our uh, upcoming videos so stay tuned and uh, do subscribe to this youtube channel thank you